Hello everyone, and welcome back to a special update from this YouTube channel, I guess is what we're calling this for this video. Um, I got a lot to talk about, um, I got some things I want to say, and um, lots of things to discuss and just future things I want you folks to be looking forward to when it comes to the YouTube channel. So stick around, I'll be going over a few of those things. So the first thing that you probably have noticed is that the Let's Get Wicked podcast has not been having an episode for basically the past month. And originally, at the end of the episode, we had talked about how we were going to start doing basically a monthly show, basically talking about all things villainous. Well, we're not going to do that anymore. Um, reason being is kind of a lot of stuff. <laughs> um, honestly, I would say one of the biggest things is that um, Marvel did not come out as awesome as we all thought it was going to be. It is still a great game. But honestly, with all of the fiascos that I won't get into when it comes to the rule books, the communication, some of the way that some of the folks have been giving feedback to Ravensburger has not been great. And I I feel bad because I do feel like I've instigated some of that. Um, but at the same time, for me personally, as a Marvel fan, it was really rough to see one of my favorite IPs kind of not get the well-deserved treatment it did in a game engine that I really love. So it was rough. And with that, it kind of really halted a lot of our desire to continue playing the game. Um, and you probably realize that I have not been putting up any more Marvel videos. And that's because folks that I like to play games with online don't really want to play Marvel. And that's not a bad thing. But at the same time, I want to focus on doing stuff that's fun for the channel and not try to push people to do stuff because we're trying to be, like, the hot new thing. Um, so that's one thing. And the other reason is me, um, which I'll get into, is I want to start spreading my wings. And I want to start covering other things besides not even just tabletop gaming, just some other topics in general. And... That's why there's going to be a new podcast, which we'll get into, that is going to start covering a lot more of these broad spectrum topics. And that is going to be coming soon. I just got everything in terms of just the packaging deal, the yeah, package deals. Um, my, you know, the new logo, you know, getting some guests lined up to come, come talk on the show, those types of things. But let's get wicked. Last 30 episodes, an incredible run of a podcast that just kind of started on a whim in late January. And here we are. We have all these folks that want to continue to watch stuff that I do. And I want to say thank you that even if it was something you weren't always interested in, thank you for watching. And it really does mean the world to me. So let's talk about this new podcast. So the new podcast, as you probably already noticed, the YouTube channel has changed its title. Um, it is no longer called Let's Get Wicked. It is called Brought to the Table. That's what this podcast is going to be called as well, brought to the table. And the whole idea behind this kind of new rebranding thing is the fact that I want to start covering topics that aren't just to do with tabletop gaming. And granted, a lot of the stuff that we're going to be doing on the channel is still very going to be gaming oriented when it comes to board games, tabletop games, card games, all that stuff. There's still going to be tons of coverage on that. But one of the things I realized during the month of August when the Marvel stuff was happening and also just with me taking some doctoral classes is the fact that I really enjoy, you know, designing systems and processes and engines. And I really dig that stuff. And I want to allow discussion on that topic with a wide variety of different folks who want to speak about that in all sorts of ways. So. Um, you know, some of the stuff I've, if you might have already noticed what's on the channel description stuff, you know, I've talked about like technology and education along with the tabletop gaming space. And both of those actually have a large, large part of tabletop gaming with technology, talking about processes, building a process while education is very much like teaching your games. And then also both of those topics in general, just relate to tabletop gaming. And the thing is, is that with this podcast, it's not just going to always be about games. I actually have some people lined up that are going to be talking about things that don't have to do with games at all. Although we'll probably reference stuff, don't worry. Um, but yeah, it's it's going to be a new venture. And I'm trying to spread my wings to help, you know, get more folks involved. Because it's been really nice getting the community involved with Villainous, you know, interact with the content and such. But I want to start trying to have other folks outside the sphere of our community try to start, you know, engaging with these interesting topics that I want to bring to the table. 
you know, you know, no pun intended, but that's what this is because honestly in 2020, it has taught me that, you know, having many different perspectives and ideas come to a discussion is very important. And I really want to try to spearhead that within our tabletop community. Cause I do feel like it's lacking a little bit where we aren't talking about some of these, I don't want to call them serious, but you know, more, more detailed topics, whether it's, you know, serious or not, you know, whether it's just talking about how a tabletop game is made to whether it's teaching to whether it's how it's actually all built and put together, you know, I think that stuff is a very fascinating. And especially as someone who's really kind of getting into the nitty gritty of building their own tabletop games, I basically got two I'm working on right now. I really want to start talking about that stuff with different folks. So that's what this podcast is going to be in terms of when this podcast is going to be releasing. I don't have an official schedule yet. I do want to try to get the podcast basically launching by the end of September. I'm starting to record episodes this week, fingers crossed, but I'm, but I want to start to get some, some of those episodes in the can before I officially launch, launch the show, because one thing we'll talk about is my schedule, uh, when it comes to actually making stuff, but yeah, I want to get a bunch of those in the can a little bit before we launch the, sh the new show. And then that is going to be a new monthly show. That's going to continue throughout, you know, the foreseeable future and we'll just see how long it goes and we'll go from there so let's actually go ahead and jump into that schedule all right so schedule time i have become an incredibly busy person so over the summer i did not have to work a whole lot you know teaching summer classes is not that time constraining as well as developing a new curriculum for a course you still got lots of free time to go do youtube stuff make content for youtube do streams, all that stuff. This whole fall season, I am just jam packed. You know, taking I am teaching four classes. I am taking two classes towards a doctoral degree, and I still want to try to engage and do stuff for YouTube. Still do streams. You know, I'm also trying to work out a little bit on my social life a little bit to just try to be a little bit engaged with real people in 2020, which is hard to think about sometimes. But I. I'm a busy person and I want to try to focus on all these different avenues of my life because it is important. You know, I, I've always told people this is really a hobby to me and I don't want that to come off as a bad thing, but it, I still really enjoy teaching and I love that atmosphere and I still want to focus on that. And it's nice to be able to take some of that and actually put that into some of the stuff that I've been talking about when it comes to, you know, our villainous community, as well as some of the stuff with tabletop and, that doesn't mean the content is going to be slowing down, but I do want folks to be a little bit in check when it comes to how some of the content is getting distributed. So, you know, right now I still have tons of villainous gameplay footage literally lined up until February of 2021. So three days a week, you're going to be getting villainous content at the very least. Now, once the podcast launches, we definitely will be having one of the days a week dedicated to just having a YouTube version of the podcast. And for those of you who have been watching the YouTube videos but have listened to the podcast and other services, don't worry. I'm getting the whole podcast feed ready to go. Once I get the first episode uploaded and everything, we'll, that will all be ready to go. And you folks will have a place to subscribe, and I'll let you folks know about that. Um, it will not be taking place on the RSS feed that was for Let's Get Wicked. This will be a whole new thing on itself. So Let's Get Wicked has its own little you know, curated universe of 30 episodes that you will always be, be able to enjoy and take pride in. So I, you know, I'm glad that it's going to exist for a lot of people to listen to all our weird shenanigans about Kingdom Hearts and Disney and tabletop and all that stuff. But um, and it, and when it comes to the full week, um, I don't know. One of the big things when it comes to do, making new content is I do want to start focusing on doing other YouTube video or YouTube videos, uh, doing other games. So you might have noticed that I've been playing a lot of the Digital Root and some of those videos are going to be going up uh, throughout the course of, you know, the coming weeks just to get that going. I plan on eventually sitting down and basically building up like a little little mini studio right over here at my desk so I can run through all of Champions on Expert, so Marvel Champions to be exact. So I got this really awesome Spider-Man deck that I want to run through all the villains on Expert and then possibly go to Heroic where it gets really tough. And now with Red Skull coming out and someone who literally just played Red Skull last night, 
I, I would definitely want to really jump into Champions and start exploring that game a lot more as well. So give me a lot of new stuff on the channel. And then on top of that, I definitely want to start experimenting with some other games through Tabletop Simulator. I have been talking a lot about Star Wars Destiny. For those of you who do, do not follow me on Twitter or on the Discord, and I've been talking about my rediscovery of that game, building a lot of decks. I have everything, so it's really kind of nice to explore some of the stuff I haven't been able to touch and i've been digging that so i definitely want to start doing some star wars destiny just like fun stuff you know i've been really enjoying that game but also just in general just talking about other games and playing other games i do know that some folks are gonna be asking like are you ever gonna do stuff like you know real life coverage of games like you playing with other people and 2020 that's all i'm gonna say um i don't i don't want to do that and i don't have I, I do have folks I play games with, but the thing is, it goes back to what I was talking about with being social. Um, the social stuff is supposed to be fun. It's meant to be personal. You know, I want to have fun with my friends when the few people I do get to actually see in person that come hang out and play tabletop games with me. So I, I really want to keep it to that. Maybe in the future, if things calm down and people are more interested in maybe possibly, you know, joining that type of thing, I would love to do something like that. But honestly, I think for my personal health, as well as just, you know, 2020 and, just kind of having fun. I want to keep it to you folks because the community for Villainous has definitely shown me a lot of awesome stuff and to discover and see. And I want to kind of keep engaging with them right now and then spread my wings and hopefully have new folks come in and want to play games and such. So that's it on the games front. Definitely you will be seeing some new content. Now, when it comes to Villainous, I haven't been playing a lot of offline Villainous, but I know there's been lots of Twitch streams and stuff in archives. And at some point when I am able to do so, I do have the stream archives downloaded on my machine. The problem is, is that cutting up those individual matches takes a bit because when you um, take the archive from Twitch, you, you literally to cut it up, it takes a lot more rendering power uh, to basically cut up like a two, three hour stream. Um, then it would be just me just clicking start and stop. And the thing is, I've been trying to keep the streams on, you know, not super powerful like recording and streaming at the same time to help out my machine and it's just you know balance so but uh yeah so villainous will continue i don't know how long it will continue kind of depending on how stuff goes with the channel but um you'll definitely will still see villainous content on this channel it was built up in the ground up by a villainous it will always be here um and all that fun stuff so when it comes to some more villainous stuff, I do want to let you folks know, um, number one, even though we're not doing a podcast anymore, that doesn't mean if some new villainous content comes on the rise, we won't talk about it in some special video form. I'll definitely be grabbing Ditto and chatting about that. We'll have a whole discussion. Um, so whether it's Marvel or Disney related, for those of you who do not know, a bunch of puzzles just got leaked on the French Amazon of the six characters from... Was it Wicked of the Core and Evil Comes Prepared? So probably a new expansion being announced at Essen, but don't quote me on that. Um, so that might be th that might be a thing. But even then, too, with Marvel, if we do get some new Mar Marvel news of any kind, you know, I'm actually curious if they're going to do anything about announcing of hey, we screwed up. You know, here's what we're going to do. Um, or hey, be like hey, guess what? Venom's announced, and I will jump up and down with joy. But we'll definitely still be covering villainous in that front. And on top of that, too, one of the things I've been telling people to help me kind of stay engaged with villainous as a whole is our Wicked League that we've started within our community. So if you are a part of our, you know, villainous community on Discord, we have started up a league. And what I'm actually going to be doing is that starting with Season 2, because right now we're in Season 1, I'm going to be opening that up to the public more rather than just our, our normal Discord. But you will need to have Tabletop Simulator we kind of do expect you to at least know what the game is and have played it before, but uh, we've been doing a lot of cool, you know, competitive Disney villainous stuff. We're having streams. You know, we hosted a tournament a few weeks ago for our prologue, and I've been seeing some really cool stuff. And now on Thursdays, we're doing Wicked League nights on stream to basically showcase these players off doing cool stuff. So I'm really enjoying that, and that stuff is going to continue. And soon i'm gonna probably start putting some of that stuff up on the channel i have everything archived from our original big tournament that we had back in june so maybe if i do get the chance to sit down maybe just like slog through some matches i might do that but 
Um, it does take some time because, like I said, rendering that stuff out is not easy because if you have a giant Twitch stream, you know, I, I remember I was trying to cut some stuff up for the original tournament, and since the, the original tournament was nine hours long, let's say it takes about two hours and 30 minutes to render something that's only about 15 minutes long, and yeah, so not not super great, not super yeah, not super effective. So we're I, I'm working on this stuff. I'm trying to figure out the best way to approach it all. But um, definitely still villainous is going to be coming. So don't worry. That's still going to exist. But uh, yeah, so don't worry. And if you folks have suggestions on some things that you would like to see in terms of villainous content, you know, one thing I have been really enjoying doing is having guests come on to do these deep dive videos. And don't worry, those are definitely con con going to continue. I'm definitely going to make sure that each of the characters gets covered. It's more of, you know, I don't know all the characters that well, so we'll definitely be having some guests on, on for some. And I want to make sure that we have folks get that spotlight to talk about said character. So, but yeah, villainous content's not going to go away. It is going to slow down, but we'll make sure that we're going to be covering that stuff as we go along. So don't worry, it's all going to keep going. It's not going anywhere, but just stick with me and you will never go hungry again. Put it that way. So that's basically it in terms of the announcements. And I don't want to ramble on too much because for those of you who don't know, I tend to like go on tangents and rambles. It's just kind of what I do. But if the one thing I do want to say before we go from this video and then you go about your week you're going to tune in tomorrow and probably watch the next villainous, you know, playthrough. Or you're going to rewatch a podcast. Or you're like, wait, what? what's going on? Like, what? what where is everything? I do want to say thank you. Um, this whole YouTube, Twitch, stream, personality thing I never thought was going to ever happen in my entire life. I thought I was just going to be, you know, do the dream job of teaching college and stuff. And it'd be fine, but... I can't believe that the fact that you folks wanted to join me on this journey and watching the content, supporting the podcast, support the streams, it means a lot. And honestly, just the fact that you folks want to engage on the Discord community and talk with me, whether even if it's just sending a message on Twitter or I still get emails from folks saying like, hey, we really like the show and don't worry, I read that stuff. Um, I don't get to respond to everybody because believe it or not, I have three work emails I have to still respond to this morning. Um, and it's on a Sunday, but I, I just want to say thank you. You folks have definitely made 2020 a lot easier to work with, with how hard it's been personally. And I don't need to get into that again, but for those of you who know me, I, you folks know I've went through some stuff and it's rough. And the thing is that, you know, I don't want to sit here and say, woe is me, because there are some people out there right now that are dealing with a lot harder of things. And, you know, first off, you have my support. You have my energy. I, I hope you can get through it. And, you know, as long as you believe, I know you can. But one thing I definitely want to make sure you all walk away from this video from is that this whole channel has been dedicated to a game called Villainous where you're being a bad guy and you're, you know, doing bad things to win. Um, but be excellent to each other. You know, lend a helping hand when you can. I know it's hard in 2020, but give someone a smile. Be positive as much as you can. I know it's all, that is also difficult. You know, don't put people down. Try to lift people up. And even when someone does screw up, try to get, give them a chance to talk to them and be like, hey, we can be better together, you know, and I give them that chance. And you don't have to give them a thousand chances. But if it's taught me anything is that, you know, be the best person that you can be um, for everyone around you. I really do mean that from the bottom of my heart, because I know... A lot of the people from the community have definitely helped me become a better person, and they don't probably realize it. And I know in my real life, too, there have been people that have been helping me try to be a better person as well. And it's been, it's been weird. It's been rough. But I've learned that, you know, that's why I like doing this YouTube stuff is because I know that sometimes a YouTube video is literally what puts a smile on somebody's face. And... That's what means the world, and I want you folks to do that however you can, whether it's, you know, sending someone a check-in on the message 
or, you know, heck, making YouTube videos or streaming or, you know, just being a positive influence in the world. And however you can do that, just do that. Do it for me. Do it for your friends and your family. You know, I, I do, I do really think that is the way that we should act. And I know for a fact that, that I have to appreciate that the fact that the community I've been working with for all these months now has been really good at that too. So I want to say thank you to all you folks too. Um, you folks are the real heroes out there. All right. Another my sap story. We're going to end this video now. Until then, I hope you folks stay happy, stay healthy, and stay safe. And as always, and forever always, stay delightfully wicked. I will see you folks on the next YouTube video, the next podcast, the next stream, or maybe on Discord. I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care, everyone.